Welcome back. Our final exercise is to do our own personal little balance sheet for the month. You might recall in lesson two that we learned uh, about assets and we learned about liabilities and we learned about net worth and that net worth is equal to assets minus liabilities. So let's do a spreadsheet for our monthly net worth and um, what we're going to do is have two columns of numbers. Uh, one column will be our assets, another column will be our liabilities, and so let's start off by labeling those. Okie doke. And um, let's think about some assets that we would receive during the month. Well, let's uh, assume that we get paid twice a month, so we get two paychecks. So our first asset is paycheck number one. And our second asset is paycheck number two. And I'm just thinking, is there other, let's be a little consistent. Let's move that over there. Um, I was just wondering if there's any other uh, income that we could have. Well, let's say we get some interest from the bank. And let's say we also had some lottery winnings. Let's say we did one of those scratch-offs and we won some money from the lottery. Okay, so let's actually put some figures in place. Um, let's assume we get paid $900 for each paycheck. And how much interest did we get? Um, let's say we got $45 in interest. And let's say we also got $35 from the lottery. Okay. So uh, we received 900 from each of our two paychecks, $45 in interest, $35 in lottery. So I think we should actually add that up. So we should have total assets. And let's calculate that. That would be, we'll do it as a formula. That's going to equal to the sum of cells C5 through C8. So let's type that in, C5 colon C8, close parentheses, and hit enter. And there's the correct number, $1,880. And you can see the correct formula is listed right up over here. All right. Let's do the same for liabilities. Uh, let's think of some of the things that we would spend our money on. Well, we would have to pay the rent. Uh, what else would we have? We would have um, the car loan. Uh, we'll have the cable bill. And let's say we had a phone bill. And once again, these numbers don't represent anything real. So let's say the rent was uh, $700. The car loan was $225. The cable bill was $150. And uh, the phone bill was uh, $45. And let's all make certain to be consistent that these are financial operands. So we're going to click on the dollar sign, and that's going to convert it all to financials. All righty, so we see our dollar signs there. And we should have a total over there. And so let's have total liabilities, okay, and let's have a sum for these two. Now, we could just type in the, the amount, but let's enter a formula. So this is going to equal to the sum of cells D5 through D8. So let's type that in, parentheses. D5 colon D8 close parentheses and hit enter and there is the proper amount $1,120 is our liabilities and the correct formula is up over here okay so let's actually start making this look a little pretty uh, what I think we should do is is these should be in bold that's nice and let's also put them in the center I'd like to make the columns a little bit bigger, so we we'll just kind of stretch them out a little bit, okay? I would like all these to be left justified, and that 
that's better. Good, and I want these to be right justified. And that's good as well. Looks a little crowded, so what I'd like to do is, is insert a row between rows four and row five. So I right click my mouse, hit insert, and that puts a new row in there that's blank. And I think what I'd like to do is, is just to make things look a little pretty, fill some colors in there. And uh, that looks a little good. It looks a little better, I should say. Okay. And I think what we should have here is, let's make these bold as well. Now, we need to calculate our net worth. And if you remember, net worth from the lecture is equal to our assets minus our liabilities. And we should have a calculation for that. All righty. So let's say this cell, we would like to calculate our net worth. So our net worth would equal our total assets minus our total liabilities. So let's do this as a formula. Equals. And the very first thing we'll have to equal is cell C11 minus cell D11 and hit enter and that's our net worth so net worth and let's make that bold and since this is a very important number maybe we want to fill that cell in with a little bit of a color or something okay to make it stand out and let's give the uh, spreadsheet a title. So it's our personal balance sheet for the month. Now, you recall that we used formulas to do all our calculations. Why did we do that? We could have just added those columns up. But in Excel, it's very important to use formulas because sometimes the values in a cell will change. And we would want to have Excel do all our recalculations. Let's say, for example, in our second paycheck, we didn't get $900. Let's say we did a little overtime, and instead of $900, we made $975. So let's type in the new amount, 975. Now, that's obviously going to change our total assets. And if our assets change, our net worth is going to change. So had we just entered the numbers, we would have had to recalculate everything manually. But by using the formulas, this will automatically be updated once we enter this value of 975. So let's do that simply by hitting Enter. And now we see the 975 appears here. And we have a new total amount for our total assets. And our net worth has been revised upwards to $835.